and said it's fantastic. So, fingies crossed. Okay. New space quest. The next mutation. Tiara. Oh, see introduction, please. It's Roger Wilco in The Next Mutation. to investigate the mysterious disappearance of several ships in the uncharted region of space known as the Menudo Triangle. I no doubt have been selected for this mission due to my great achievements as a military leader and matchless diplomatic skills. When did I get those? The frame rate! Oh no! Fuck me. It's starting- It says I have good internet speed. Like, I did a fucking test. Why does it do this to me? Can you hear me, at least? Here, hold on. I go forward with total confidence in my ship and my crew, yet I am vaguely uneasy. I cannot put memories of traveling to the future and meeting my son out of my mind. Each night my dreams are haunted by Im the image of the woman he said would one day be my wife. I know she's out there, somewhere. Why am I losing 56% of frames when I have very fast internet, is what it says. But that's not important right now. The fate of trillions ride on the decision I may have to make in the next several hours. As captain of the Star Confederacy's proudest flagship, I must follow the supreme guideline. To boldly go where no man has... No, no, no. <laughs> to bravely traverse where no creature has traversed... Hmm, that's not it. Ah, skip it. I guess they got rid of the voice actors or something. Neutron beams locked, proton torpedoes armed. Tactical, fire neutron beams, helm hard to port. Has everyone else in your neighborhood taken up streaming during quarantine? I don't know, man. Cadet Wilco, what in the name of the seventh star cluster are you doing in the bridge simulator? I knew I was a putz. Get your sorry carcass out of there and get back to, cl to class where you belong, space cadet. And if I catch you in there again without permission, I'll have you tossed out of the academy so fast you'll, war you'll get warp disorientation. Man, I can't read today. Simulation terminated.
His illusions of spacefaring grandeur cruelly shattered by Captain Quirk, Roger Wilco exits the bridge simulator into the hallways of the Star Confederacy Space Academy, where he has enrolled himself in an attempt to realize his lifelong dream of becoming a starship captain. Who knew he had such dreams? The last several months have not been easy for our hero, what with having to juggle time between skipping classes, snoozing through lectures, and spending long moments considering the implications of actually opening a textbook. But our fearless former sanitation engineer has stumbled resolutely past these obstacles, pursuing his goal with unwavering determination, blissfully unaware that his fate was about to hurl another spitball in his direction. They kept the music, but dropped the voice acting. He's got a really weird face. Is this Space Federation Community College? Probably. All right, so it's got this same bullshit. Did we ever use the sniff or the taste? I don't even think we used that. What is this? There's two different kinds of talkie talks. We have some money. Spindola. All right. Well, here, I'm gonna save it just as a start. An alpha class strike fighter from the colony from the colony worlds. This baby has it all: speed, maneuverability, and enough firepower to blast apart a comet. Too bad you'll probably never e be even within shouting distance of one in your natural lifetime. His walking animation is very similar to the walking animation they gave him in the last game when he was in drag. <laughs> yeah, just without the hands. <laughs> Love my. True, 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 true. Sniff and smell are probably for completionist deaths. Yeah, probably. I do too. Have time. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, who's this person? Let's use our... Oh no, that's me. I got confused. Oh, is this like, uh, talking shit? Is this just like regular talking and <laughs> that's talking shit? Elevators. Sniff and lick actions were probably just for jokes. Yeah, we, we missed we missed some jokes, I guess. Where the hell am I going? What's in the middle there? If Mom was here, she'd be asking, "What are we supposed to be doing?" And I would answer, "I don't know." Okay. Fine. Can I walk over here? What's over here? I see. It says I'm dropping less frames for no fucking reason. Like, it's still at 19% droppage. Doesn't make sense why. What is this? Can I get in here? It's merely decorative. Fine. Needed to pass just to go to the restroom. Well, look in the look in the windows. The window looks in the conference room. Currently, there's some kind of meeting going on. Hey! No, Dick. What's this? You've always wondered what this panel does, but have never been able to figure out its function. The ex explanation was probably given in one of the many class lectures slept away during your tenure here at the academy. 
clearly a wonderful student. What up, nerds? <laughs> Drop dead, Wilco. Wharf behind us. Oh, great. We're going to fail a test today. Fucking it up, Roger. There. We're gonna fail no matter what. Gronko is commanding a Nova class scout ship when he finds himself face to face with three Horhack battle cruisers. What she should do? What should he do? Uh, <laughs> surrender in the face of impossible odds. When encountering an alien ship for the first time, you should immediately. <laughs> yes, broadcast Wagner's ride of the Valkyries over the comlink. <laughs> or B than A. <laughs> yes. I'm for that. Before beaming down to an unexplored planet for the first time, you should be sure to check uh, <laughs> your fly. Sure, that seems reasonable. You're marooned on an alien planet with no weapons and a killer android out for your blood. You should... <laughs> Gather the basic ingredients to make gunpowder and fashion a cannon from vines and sticks. Stuff a banana in an exhaust pipe. Drop a big rock on the robot and shout, Austin La Vista, baby. <laughs> yeah. Roll in the mud. <laughs> okay, I missed it. Because I clicked it already. You're on an Eva? With a partner, and you notice his face is turning blue, and he is clutching wildly at his throat. This is a sign that you will soon need a new partner. In a burst of creative insight, he has created a new dance called the Moonwalk. He is suffering from a vitamin deficiency and needs to eat more leafy green vegetables. He fell for the old golf ball and the air hose trick. <laughs> Andy. To ensure that your crew's microwave meals are heated adequately and evenly aboard your ship, uh, you should wrap everything in aluminum foil, cook each meal at the maximum power setting for 45 minutes, put a live space varmint in, in with each meal so you can more easily determine when it's done, Huck the thing and settle for roasting wieners on the maneuvering jets. Inject a radioactive plutonium isotope into each piece of food. When it glows, it's ready. <laughs> Let's roast weenies. If Grebe leaves the Crab Nebula at 3200 GST, Galactic Standard Time, and travels at 9.75 million ZPM, how long will it take him to reach a planet Davicon 5 if he has the solar wind at his back? <laughs> he will never reach it. Yeah, sure. How fast does light travel through a vacuum? Very, 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 very fast. Air. Which is an example of a fuzzy boundary? The area and space between two planetary bodies where a smaller third object is not clearly under the gravitational influence of either. The event horizon of a supermassive black hole. The place where a receding hairline gives way to a bare scalp. The point at which the marginal utility of trying to squeeze the last bit of toothpaste from the tube is offset by the opportunity cost of going to the store for a new one. <laughs> to successfully accomplish a manual molecular reintegration bypass on a standard transporter unit, you should reverse the phase polarity of the interface grid, jiggle the handle, pray fervently to whatever deity you happen to believe in, C then B, uh, switch, a s switch to a sprint? That one sounds the smartest one. <laughs> oh man. We did not do good. Yep, 
Yeah, do your janitor stuff, Roger. I don't, I don't know if that was good or bad. Bad test. And I don't know where the toilet is. Oh, hey, it's Jabba. They go tell me to drop dead, too. Get lost, Wilco. Jeez. I don't know. I expect somebody to be friendly to me. No, 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 don't go that way. I wanted you to go on the door, fool. Mike Wachowski in the back row. Missed him. Okay. Whoa! Garbage. Pick up some shit. Mm. Now look what you've done. Quick, call a janitor. Something must be useful. Yeah. That's right, bottomless pocket. All right, safety cones. Look at us, getting... <laughs> Junk. Yonder, or it was locked. It was a conference room. I can't remember what happened. Show some pride in your work, Roger. Well, hell. supposed to clean? Well, we can look down here closer. Maybe this is what we're supposed to clean. Oh, the crest! That makes sense. We got shit to do that now. Here, put this out. Hold on. Put these out first, Roger. this. This seems vaguely familiar. Will it stop automatically? If I just ride it out, out of here. <laughs> this is 
gonna just stop. Okay, I have a bit more to go, it says. That thing is covered in staff. Just like Grandma. <laughs> the track. <laughs> Not a human. <laughs> Doing a great job. <laughs> All right, do I have to do? I'm. This is a fantastic song. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Come on, man. Tell me when it's done. Show me some sort of something. There's no difference. This really doesn't look like a punishment. Yeah, I agree. Come on, it's gotta be done, right? Can you see the color difference when you go over dirty section? No, you can't. I don't think. Like, I don't think these change. You can see it? The right corner has a spot. Yeah. Pack your bags, Wilco. You're taking a little trip. Well, hell, I didn't do that right. Is that the end? Did I die? Or is this what's supposed to happen? <laughs> um. Well, I should have saved it right before I did that. Holy crap, 5,000 points. I couldn't, I can't see it. It just looks the same. It looks like the drawing. I will look closer. Back to janitor night school, yep. Like, are you saying it's like these like blue spots? Do those, do those go away? I haven't seen anything go away when I go over them. Maybe. If you guys can see it, maybe I should just look at the stream. Just the yellow? Okay. can't even janitor. Oh, okay. I can see it. I don't think I started paying attention until after I'd gone over it all. Mm -hmm. 
So shiny, so chrome. As you can see, Ambassador Wankmeister. It's her! We run a very tight ship here at the Academy. The institution is the pride of the Star Confederation and one of the best of its kind in the known universe. It's nice to see our tax buckazoids aren't going completely to waste, Captain Quirk. Here we are, Ms. Wankmeister. This is the main rotunda. It was dedicated on Stardate 092097.27. Ambassador? Excuse me, aren't you Roger Wilco, the man who foiled the Sarians some years back? Why, yes I am! Miss Wankmeister? <laughs> Slow jazz music. Suddenly, it all comes rushing back. It's her, the woman from the hollow desk, hollow disc in Space Quest IV. Now it's your big chance, Roger. Say something clever and romantic. Uh, or um, I mean, uh, yes. <laughs> Wait, we were back on our feet, Raj. Jerk. Oh, dang. Oh, snap. It's got to pay. Double secret probation. One more screw up in your space cadet days are over. It's your fault. I put out cones, man. That nah, that other chick was like bazow, like heavy metal baby. <laughs> yeah. You are a disappointment, Roger. Agree. Wank Meister. All right. Oh yeah, it's so wet, it's fine. Take that. I guess we're gonna be a creepoid and go find her at this conference room. Because my aims in this game are completely clear. Okay, here, maybe here's some exposition, please. Oh. Is some weird lemur creature gonna Make me a success? Yeah, what was that? I'm afraid you don't understand the potential ramif ramifications of this problem, Admiral. If the sludge bandits continue to illegally dump toxic waste whenever and wherever they choose, the environmental consequences could be staggering. Entire planets could be devastated. I think you overstate the issue, Ambassador. Even so, we have more than enough ships on patrol to put a stop to these sludge bandits, as you call them. Look, Ambassador, we have top-notch ship- Top men. Top-notch ships staffed with the finest crews in the galaxy. Starcon accepts only the best and brightest for fleet training. No way. You look, Rughead. Illegal dumping is going on in this sector right under your polyweave. <laughs> Our patrols have located dumping sites on four planets in the G6 quadrant alone. Hey, this is made from real hair. In any case, I'd like to hear more about these alleged dumping sites, perhaps over dinner this evening. Shut up, Zap Brannigan. 
I have already transmitted the coordinates to Starcon Central Command, along with a list of suspected sites that we haven't been able to check out yet. Well then, that settles it. Captain Quirk, you shall go to these sites and investigate Ambassador Wankmeyer's allegations. Admiral, I'll be going along as an observer. I'm afraid that's impossible. Regulations strictly forbid civilian participation in military operations. I think having the ambassador along would be a good idea. I'm sure the two of us could develop a productive working relationship. Shut up, Zap Brannigan! May I remind you that I am official representative of the people of Quadrant G6 with full ambassadorial status, and as such, am not subject to, well, subject to now, now, Ambassador. I'm sure that Captain Quirk will do everything necessary to resolve the situation. There's no need for you to hinder him on this mission. This is my system and my people we're talking about here. I'm going on that ship, and that'll be all there is to it. Case closed. We're adjourned. Good day, gentlemen. Wankmeister, out! <laughs> Oh great, the savior of the universe in all his glory. Isn't there a mop somewhere with your name on it? You just got owned, Roger! Way to go, Raj. Another sterling performance. Holy exposition, Batman! This is awful. I totally biffed on my sat test. I'll never make captain now. Oh, they're posted on the bulletin board. Let's go find it. Zap is a dummy now. Bet he's in on the dumping. Yeah, that sounds correct. Everyone that says it's not a problem has something to profit. No doubt. Oh, on behalf of the administration, I would like to congratulate you on receiving a perfect score. <laughs> you should be proud. On the recommendation of our test analysis computer system, you are to begin training for captaincy aboard one of your fine, one of our fine star cruisers. Captain Quirk will post your assignment. You've done the academy proud. All right. I am so good at space. And so, having undergone an intensive weekend captain's training seminar on the planet Oakhurst, Roger is shuttled to the new command, the Eureka. Cigar. Oh boy. Garbage ship. Drool. On this heap. Flow and drool. That was Homer. <laughs> Violation. He does have that that Kirk seating posture. Whee! All right, I'm on a ship. I'm on a boat. She's navigation? No, communication. Oh, try it from the command chair. Fine. <laughs> this is very Star Trek. Sure. 
Sure, let's let's ask 20 questions. My personal life is none of your business, sir. He stands like Superman. This is true. Welcome, mother. Yeah, he used to janitor inside space stations, now he's a janitor in outer space. That seems like it's right. Stay out of my way, sir. Will do. <laughs> my life stinks and it's all your fault, sir. <laughs> I like this flow. <laughs> she's a bit of problem dealing with male authority figures, but she'll, she's really not so bad after you get to know her. How do we get out of here? Oh, great. The previous commanding officer accidentally fell out of the airlock without a spacesuit. That sounds like something I would do. If you say so, sir. Open this shit. Can I do stuff? Oh, self-destruct mechanism. Don't press that button. Here, we better say before we start pressing buttons. Buttons. <laughs> Status report. I want to get the fuck out of here. Who? Sure thing, Bucko. Oh, doesn't have a science officer. Poke him. <laughs> Not here. How do we get out? Oh, here we go. Uh, well, who do we fucking talk to? Abandoned ship. Gangularis. Mm. <laughs> Make up your mind, Gumby. Who did I talk to about getting the fuck out of here? I don't have coordinates. Um, just go. That's copy protection. You need the manual. No. We're just gonna fucking mend or whatever. Sure. Go for it. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna save it. 
coordinates. What's the RRS? <laughs> Something I shouldn't use, I guess. Alrighty, righty, righty. Oh dang, there's a ship, and he's probably bad. Oh man, it's Madonna in robot form. Speed, please. Oh, okay. It just takes time. I should wait. Wait. What's uh? I'm gonna click this again. Okay. It has something to do with garbage. Ah, refuse removal system. Fantastic. <laughs> this is the sister of the T-1000 that wanted to kill you before? Possibly. What are these? I said we're getting close. Are we really? Fantastic. Am I supposed to be doing anything? Walk around. <laughs> Put your head out. What? What? Was I supposed to pull it out of whatever? Close. Just peachy. Are we here? Sure, we're having some fun now, Captain. Whoops, crap. You told me we we're almost there, right? This is very strange. Confusion is not a puzzle. <laughs> All right, then go to regular speed. Okay. Uh, a waste beacon, huh? Get a grip, sir. Here? Success!
ding 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 Ach. Captain, I'm picking up life form readings in the waste compartment. Oh my goodness. Captain, you better come down here. There are some strange scratching and whining noises coming out of the trash bin. Oh boy. Varmints. Husky still in business. Good for them. Where do I go? Is this a door? Sure, it's a door. He's smoking. <laughs> yeah, seems so. Is this the compartment? Okay. This is... Hugger. He's a cute little bugger. I think I'll keep him. I'll call him Spike. You're a weirdo. What a lovely smell you've discovered. Where'd that little dude go? No, oh, what's this crap? You didn't put him in your pocket, he just went away. What is this? Oh, personal communicator device. Close this shit up. Where'd what's-his-face go? Cliffy has rigged up a handy voice activation feature to the Eureka's transporter unit. unit. Originally, he tried to use a clapper, but after an embarrassing accident involving a visiting alien diplomat and a dropped wrench, he opted for the current setup. This room serves as the Eureka as both a transporter room and science lab. Needless to say, this has led to some interesting experiments by rambunctious crew members on past voyages. Uh. No here. Was that again? <laughs> this is probably where we're supposed to put that little fucker. We gotta make sure he's not on other people's faces. There he goes. Where'd he go? Walk over there, doofus. Are we going to trap him? Juicy. 
What the hell? Okay. He's not in here now. All right, here he is, little turd. Oh God, face! Pull him off and hold on to him. Yeah, put him in your pocket. Put him in this, probably. Ta-da! But close it, so we can't get out. Fantastic! Little monster. I've solved the crisis! Totally safe! Oh god! <laughs> uh. Got a way to find some way to calm him down, huh? Oh my god, he's peeing holes everywhere. All right. Mm. Is there something like some sort of button? This button do oh god what this yeah I think so there's objects on the ship you haven't found yet okay Hey, look, there's Pong going on up here. <laughs> Can I just walk around with him in my shirt and he won't escape? Shirt monster. Oh god, no. Well, that's why I saved. Quit making me watch this cutscene. <laughs> you can't have a shirt monster. That's what we learned. This is an interesting idea. But you're not going to do anything about it? Why won't you let me do it? Hmm. Well? He got out of it. Is there something I can click? I don't know. Is this just open it again? No. Oh, I'm. S damn it. <laughs> well, I don't think we have what we need to calm him down. Let's look for shit. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go live your life. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Let's go to the pod bay. Got to nuke him from space. Okay. Oh, in that middle room there's something? I swear he had his accident. <laughs> can we get him? Can we get that little turd down here? I get in this? That will not be of any help. Does these not do anything? Walk in that fucking elevator, dildo. Press a button. How do we get out of here? It's just like a plaque. And I don't see a button nowhere. Oh, hey. What did we pick up? Oh. There's a panel for everything, yeah. Open the door or let me up something. There's no, oh, those are buttons. Thank God. What is this? I do need this tool. I need every tool. A turkey baster. <laughs>
right? What is that? Okay. Cool. I think I tried everything. Just double checking. Okay. Okay, we got junk. High voltage circuit fuse. Laser cutting torch. A hole punch. <laughs> and a mask. What did we put on a mask? So he doesn't grab my face. Or we like give the him a mask, the mask to, to suck on. <laughs> It's like your very own personal face. I didn't try everything. Well then suck. Those items don't work together. Sons of bitches. All right. Yeah, go ahead, run away. Is that a panel? Okay. Is there? Oh, I, I can move stuff, I suppose. I tried that. Is that a pizza cutter? <laughs> no. Mintos, the fresh maker? What we got here? Antacid? Steps. Have we clicked this panel? No fart antacid. <laughs> Did it say that? <laughs> it does look like no fart. I guess that'll work on an acid spitting uh, little motherfucker. There's only one dead end in this game and you already got one of the items that prevents it, so congrats. Thank God. <laughs> they do two work together. Hold on, I guess I gotta get him in his little tube. Take your medicine. <laughs> a poor little fellow must have eaten something that didn't agree with him. Those antacids should reduce the acidity of his metabolism. Alrighty.
Alrighty. I think I'm we're at an hour. That's where I'm gonna call it. That's a success. Fart. No fart. Antacid. <laughs> is what we will call that. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Uh, I will be back tomorrow playing more Space Quest 5.